So the full album crop, uh, the piece of art won't be seen on the album cover, but it will be seen uh, on other pieces like the animated visualizers that John Luini and I were sort of creative directing and, and watching a wonderful animated team put together through the record label. And we would talk about what can move, what, what needs to happen here, what needs to happen there, what's a great little Easter egg to have come alive. We could have gone crazy and driven an animator bonkers. Um, I think we were restrained a little bit after we you know, had a thousand notes and uh, they turned out wonderful. For the Crazy Times album, there was a version for Target, there was a version for Walmart, and there was a straight up regular standard version, and then the LP version. So there were lots of packages that needed to be made. So this, the layouts are slightly different, um, especially from LP down to CD. But what I like about the CD is, yes, this one, this one is the double version, uh, the two disc version. What I, I did enjoy the fact that I hid the, um, the Crazy Times sign that Sammy's holding on the front cover into this particular image here that it's just been trampled over. People are just ignoring the Crazy Times. That's the significance of the back cover. Um, but what I did love about this is as you open it, the disc art's the drain, right? Which is always fun. Uh, the band photos here where they recorded, and I think it's so much about the recording of the album. It just sounds like this great live, you know, studio recorded record that, you know, we, we had to use those pictures of them in the studio. It was just too, too great not to. Um, so this one's the double disc version. Um, you can see here how the album cover comes over onto the back of the booklet. And for, so we have the drain for the front, uh, for the first disc. And this was something truly for the fans. I never got to make, with, in the 25 years I've done albums for Sammy, a disc that had 55 on it. And come on, just calls for it. So what was more appropriate was that that's a manhole cover just to be kind of funny. And, you know, I, that's actually my favorite little, you know, sneaky thing that not everybody's gonna get. It's not on either side of the LP, it's only in the double disc version. So that's one of my favorite things. So if you're lucky enough to get your hands on one of the vinyl copies of this, there's one thing that's really special besides the fact that we did red vinyl too, um, which the last time we did red vinyl was in the Chicken Foot album. Um, which was pretty wonderful, but for this particular one we decided to print it on the reverse side of the board that we usually print on So what that means is it's like an old LP. It's it's printed on uncoated paper So the texture you're gonna feel is really cool and the coated side is on the inside of the jacket Just a, a designer geeky thing to geek out on but it's it's really cool when you hold it It's this big rock record normally I'm designing things that can look really good when it's small, like in these other album covers behind me. Um, but this one, you had to just throw all that out the door. This one has to be viewed as an LP or larger. It's just, it's the coolest way to sit and go through everything. I mean, you'll, you can do it with a CD, just get your magnifying glass out. But forget seeing what's happening on Spotify on this album cover, it's not gonna happen. So throw caution to the wind, make cool art you can get lost to when you're rocking out to the record at like 11 in your stereo at home. There you go. Watching.